What's up, guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Scarender. And today we're going against King of Cheapness, are known as Ryan. That is just a perfect name, really. And um, yeah, this guy actually beat me to a bloody pulp last time we battled. He beat, he beat me to 6 0, I guess. So, um, yeah, I was really feeling it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> when this battle was going down, like, okay, I probably need to step up my game a bit, because I was using, to say the least, a bit more of a fun team, but I tried a more serious th this time, because I really wanted to showcase that I can actually battle NU properly. And his team is quite formidable, with both Gorgageist, uh, what's it called? Yeah, Gorgageist, Garbodor, Polyrad, Fluet, Swallow, and Electrode, Electivire. <laughs> My bad. And I'm myself using Hillisk, Girder, Marowak, Kadabra, Virisiond, and Aurorus. And um, yeah, his Gore guys is definitely like the biggest threat on his team because there is only so many things I can do to it, and I know that. And uh, of course, Electivire is locking my Hillisk. I can't go for balls, which I would like, and obviously, it's not going to help out that much. Plus, Swallow outspeed a lot of folks on my team. So. I really need to keep Kadabra's sash in, intact if I wanted to, uh, if I want a chance to, of course, deal with it. So, yeah, that is basically the premise. Marowak is, might, may or may not be the best response for um, the Electivire, depending on the set, of course, but I really, really, really didn't feel that I was going to take a gamble on it if it was special or not. So I'm just going to start with Electa on my Hill Lisk. And uh, hope for the best. Really, really hope that uh, I am able to take on whatever comes in. You know, I'm fine as long as it doesn't bring the Electivire from the get-go. And I can expect to be a switch in that case. So, of course, with all this in mind, guys, let's go. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to lie, guys. You know, I hate situations like this. I really, really hope that he was not going to bring the Electivire from the get-go. So, you know, face palm, of course, because he's going to start off with that. And I don't want to risk it. I feel that it might be physical because he has a lot of strength in his team, so I know that from the get-go. So I decided to switch to my Marowak, just trying to cope with my situation, honestly. And I can't really go for a Boner rank because obviously he has both Swallow and Gore guys can actually deal with that rather fine. So I'm just going to go for a knockoff and look at this guy. Look at this. This is just beautiful. I'm putting down to like at 1 HP maybe-ish. And knock off the flame wolf, and that means that his swallow is useless, and that is just magic, to be honest. And um, yeah, I had nothing to put into this. And look at the swallow, still does a lot of damage. It's still like 100 HP. So yeah, my Marowak is not long for this battle. With the club, you know, it's it's kind of good. It kind of works. And uh, Electivire is coming in. I do expect the um, Ice Punch coming, or rather. It seems to be very likely that's going to go how it's going to go down. So these guys go to Phoenix. And Phoenix is being the most extreme of Pokemon. It's a bulk upset the Gar Garbodor. Girder, damn it. <laughs> and um, I'm just going to go for bulk up, expecting the Gore guys to come in. And I'm actually Guts. So I don't fear the Will-O-Wisp, but rather it's encouraging that he goes for that. But uh, he's actually going to go for the better play, which is going to be the lead seed. And um, you know, I'm not going to lie to my opponents here. He had a very rough time here with the hacks, and I do believe he missed the first lead seed. Yeah, and I go for another knockoff. Obviously, it is not enough to take it out. It's, it's close though, it's really close. And he's gonna pull off the lead seed, and after this, he will actually protect. So, this is a very, very stally, very, very formidable Gore guy. So, you can actually cope with uh, any opponent quite well. It's extremely frustrating, and. Um, yeah, that is what the Gorgias just does if it doesn't use our Sulphus like I did. This is an ex extremely good set, and it can block out a lot of opponents. And as long as, you know, there are no fear of weaknesses going, this Pokemon can actually live for quite some time. More, most like Trevenant, really. And look at this, he's back to yellow. It's extremely, extremely potent. And of course, with the Synthesize and whatnot, it's even more formidable. So I decided to go for a knockoff here, and uh, I got a knockoff to Citrus. I don't know what that is all about, but hey, I take it. So, anyway, I was really scared he was going to go for attacking moves, if that's the case, I was hoping I could kind of cope with it and retaliate with the Drain Punch. But no, he has Hypnosis, and he misses! <laughs> and I really felt bad for my opponent, because that would easily have been a turning point for what I only can say is a very, very key momentum right now for me. And I really didn't want to risk another Hypnosis here and me being locked in. 
So I saw this as a good chance of actually switching out and switching out to something that I know can take or can take a water move and then actually bait him to go for the water move and then switch into my um, Helisk. And of course I missed out of hypnosis. Uh, you know, Ryan, I'm really feeling it. <laughs> I'm sorry man, I really am. So anyway, you go for the waterfall, I obviously have the dry skin and nom nom that shit right up. And uh, I'm just gonna go for an hyper voice here because if I remember correctly, yeah. He has still Electivire and it is extremely dangerous for me to go for Electro type moves. And I knew that. And after this, you know, that damage should kind of showcase that I am Specs. So, um, I am just gonna switch out here because I know the Garb Lord is still around and there is not a lot of things I can do here. So, I'm just going to, like I said, switch out and try to get a new footing with Phoenix. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for another knockoff. I'm really hoping that is enough. And it is not enough. This thing just won't die. It just, <laughs> it just keeps going. It's such a formidable Pokemon, I can't stress that enough. Obviously, knockoff is now reduced by damage, but still, you know, that that is just some frustrating stuff. And I expect him to go for Protect here, and I'm not gonna stay in. You know, I'm not gonna do this game. So I'm just gonna go to Verision, and um, I know now that he can't set up any whatsoever lead seed on this thing. Plus, I have actually... Uh, I have special sets, I don't really mind um, Will-O-Wisp and he saw right through that and I knew he's gonna do that so I went for Calm Mind of course Fluet is coming in, I totally forgot about this Pokemon so I'm just like alright and I can't really set up, Fluet is so bulky it's so extremely bulky so I'm just gonna go to Kadabra and Kadabra is easily the MVP of this battle because Kadabra has you know that little magic guard going which means that I'm expecting the Toxic and obviously it's not gonna do anything to this guy and now it means that he has no, no way of getting any status effects on me which is great so I'm just going for a slash I hope to do around 50% I don't do 50% which means that shit we're not gonna pull this off now are we so I expect him to switch maybe out to his board guys or stay in either way I just needed a scene on come in or my Marowak and just go for a knockoff he does switch out and you know, I <laughs> I probably should have attacked him, but I really expected him to go for Protect. And um, his core guys, it's now back. It's still beaten, living, and I'm just going for knockoff, hoping to take it out. I mean, I does fair damage, but there is where this story ends. Marowak is now gone. It's now Wisps. <laughs> and there is not many things I can do from this point, and Burn will definitely take me out. And at this point, I was really feeling that... I want to be able to uh, win this battle by a 6-0, so I did expect him here to switch out, not trying to take another knockoff or whatnot. Then he's going to the Polyraft, and uh, I'm gonna easily outspeed this thing and go for a Zyshock, take it out. Just get out of here, boy. And uh, yeah, Kadabra is actually, um, you know, I've never used it that much, but I must say, it's like I said, quite formidable. So Electivire is coming here, I know I have to take a punch. And um, good thing I have a sash on this thing, like I said. Obviously, if you like, it's not gonna help its poor defenses. So I do survive and go for Zyshock. So now the Electavar is gone, which means I'm free to go for Volt Switch, which I really don't need to do anymore. And uh, he's just gonna go to his Gore guys back again. I do expect the Shadow Sneak, so I'm just going to switch out to Hill List, which has the normal typing, which means that mm, I don't care. I just don't care. And um, yeah, that is just that is like one of the best benefits and worst thing about the Elisk. It's of course normal typing, which gives us an immunity and one huge weakness fighting. So if Fluet is coming in here, I'm just gonna go for a Volt Switch. And look at this, I am Specs, and that did m at best one fifth. That is extreme bulk on that thing. It really is. So he's gonna go, or I am gonna go to my um, uh, Kadabra yet again and just go for Psy Shock, take it out, and. Um, here is where I do a little, like, this is just a mind game thing, really. He's gonna go back to his gore guys. I did expect him to expect me to switch to heal list. I'm just gonna go for Psy Shock anyway. And, you know, it would have been fine anyway. You know, I get it. It's, like I said, it's a mind game thing. It's a 50% it's a chance he's gonna go for Shadow Sneak. And uh, it really worked in my favor, obviously. And, uh, yeah, the only thing left is the Garbodor. And uh, there is nothing this Garbodor can do to fend me off. And he's just gonna fall 
for extremely powerful yet annoying Zyjog. And that will be GG man. Um, definitely Ryan or King of Sheepness, thank you for this battle. I was very glad that I actually won this time because our last battle was not pretty and uh, I lost because you were a better battler and you did some good choices here too. My team was just that much stronger this time really. So yeah, I really want to thank you guys for watching as always and uh, yeah, Kadabra for MVP, definitely this battle. And like I said there, Ryan or King of Sheepness definitely he defeated me so bloody damn good the last time that I'm just glad I was able to pull this off and return the favor with a 6-0. And uh, it might not have turned that out if, you know, the misses and, and the hacks weren't in bound this battle. It probably would have been a bit closer because both have hypnosis and a first turn lead seed miss. Kinda, kinda screwed things over for him. And of course, the overall power of my team was just... It was very obvious that I was going for a kill this time. It really, really felt that throughout this battle. So, Ryan, you did not play a bad game. I just was that much more aggressive this time. <laughs> so, no, no hard feelings whatsoever. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as well, of course, and if you did that, make sure to leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, and remember, the sky is limit, so have a good day guys, and take care, alright? Bye.